Hey everybody, this is Lee. Today in adventure class, we will be talking about recreating safely outdoors during this COVID-19 pandemic. So before you go outside and recreate, there are some things you should know. You need to know your local laws and regulations. You need to know if the national park, national forests, uh, local parks, DNR property is closed or open for access. You should always follow your local and state guidelines as to how to stay safe, healthy, and maintain social distancing, as well as how to follow new advisories, like wearing a cotton face mask. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering what face masks are useful for, and if you need to have a commercial grade medical mask. It's important that you and your family constantly check with CDC regulations. They're constantly updating their website, giving out new information. At this time, they're recommending we wear face masks whenever we go outside, whether this is shopping, recreating, or checking on loved ones. These are different from your normal medical and N95 masks that the media has been talking about. Now, in this video, you will see pictures of me walking my dog not wearing a mask. I took those videos before those new guidelines and recommendations came out. So be mindful now whenever I walk my dog or I'm recreating outside, I am wearing a mask and I recommend you all do too, especially if you're gonna be in close contact to others or on a busy trail. In your Google Classroom, I will provide a resource list of websites you can access to make your own masks if you do not have a commercial grade medical mask at home. And also remember that being in open spaces Put you at less of a risk of being exposed to COVID-19 than being indoors in public areas where the air is circulated. When social distancing, make sure you're always maintaining six feet from other individuals that's on the trail, in the parking lot, um, or if you're just grocery shopping. The reason it's so important to maintain social distancing is because coronavirus is transmitted through droplets emitted by sneezes and coughing, which may linger on surfaces for hours or even days. So with there being coronavirus on surfaces for a long amount of time, you want to avoid certain recreational areas and the resources you'll find in parks, such as playgrounds, public bathrooms, or even touching handrails. This may be difficult, but this is also a perfect time to start practicing leave no trace ethics because ultimately you want to enter an area and then leave it without ever anyone ever knowing you were there. Remember, this includes planning ahead and preparing, leaving what you find, including those wildflowers that are blooming right now, it's beautiful spring. For right now, also leave the trash that you find outside unless you're wearing gloves. Bring a trash bag and know how to properly dispose of it um, because you don't know who the last person was who touched that trash or if they themselves may have been exposed to COVID-19. Make sure you're also traveling and camping on durable surfaces, minimizing your campfire impacts, and hopefully you're not playing with fire unsupervised, ladies. That means having your parents there if you are. Make sure it's legal to make a fire in those locations that you're currently at as well. You also want to respect wildlife that's keeping a distance, observing them from afar, taking pictures. Um, to double back, although you can't pick up other people's trash, make sure you're picking up and taking out your trash. Remember, pack out what you take in and make sure that you're disposing of your own waste back at home and avoid using local trash cans found in your parks um, as to not create an unnecessary burden on their janitorial services. And lastly, ladies, be considerate of others recreating. Keep your distance. If somebody is hiking down the trail or jogging, you can always step off the trail to maintain that six foot distance from them. Also, be sure to minimize your interactions with other people recreating, as you don't know where they're from or if they've been exposed. Um, use common practices and constantly be aware of what you come in contact with and all the surfaces that you may touch. If anybody else has touched them, make sure you wash your hands and wipe down that surface. When recreating, be sure to try to stay local as prevent spreading the disease to other rural or recreational communities. 
One of the reasons so many national parks and local parks are closing is that people were driving from outside communities to these isolated communities and potentially causing groups of people from different areas to intermingle. This can be risky as to spread the COVID-19 to other areas that do not have it yet. Doing these things can help prevent the spread and flatten the curve, and we all have a responsibility to do that. So when you're out in the community, keep your distance, follow your local regulations, and stay local, and don't invite your friends or other people outside of your immediate household to meet you. Next, I wanna cover what to do for going outside. This is all stuff you've learned in my adventure class in the past. Remember to dress for the weather. That means planning ahead and preparing. Bring water with you. And if you're going to be recreating outside for an extended period of time, like over an hour, it's always a good idea to bring snacks with you, as well as a personal first aid kit from home. Make sure that you're bringing enough snacks and water for yourself, and if you're bringing pets with you as well. I like to bring a plastic Tupperware dish for my dog, um, and also a plastic bag for her poop. Remember, leave no trace. Also, be sure to bring any medications you may need, such as an inhaler or an EpiPen. Bring a cell phone in case of emergencies. It never hurts um, to also bring a flashlight or a headlamp with you if you accidentally do get stuck outside past dark. The flashlight app on your phone will not last long and your phone's battery will go really quick. Also, try to bring a park map with you and always tell someone where you're going before you leave. It's important to continue maintaining exercise, both for your mental and physical well-being. This is why the state recognizes it's still important for individuals to get outside and stay active. Make sure wherever it is you're recreating, you're abiding by those local regulations. And again, avoiding playgrounds and being conscious of the surfaces you're coming in contact with, especially if you're touching your face when you do make accidental contact with another surface. Make sure you wash your hands immediately or use hand sanitizer. You can always avoid spreading or being too close to other people by avoiding busy parks and trails. If there's a lot of people at the trailhead, go find someplace else. Avoid busy times like weekends or midday. Go earlier in the day or during the afternoon when everyone's eating dinner. Make sure if you're hiking long distance in the backwoods or backcountry to always have that map with you to prevent you from getting lost. It's very important that we stay active and continue recreating, but remember kids, whenever you're coming back home, try to keep your home a sterile environment. That means leaving your shoes outside, washing your hands promptly, and avoid touching any doorknobs when you get back until you have a chance to wash your hands. And if you do touch a doorknob or something, make sure you wipe down those surfaces afterwards. Also be sure to shower and brush your teeth promptly and wash your clothes that may have been exposed to any viruses or particles. When recreating, make sure you do it safely because right now the medical system is overwhelmed and hospitals are overflowing with COVID-19 patients. So, if you become injured and end up in the hospital or end up needing a rescue, this can expose yourself and many others to be exposed to the virus. So girls, please recreate safely. Don't climb trees and fall out of them. Don't play around on rocks near the river. Be safe and smart. This wraps up my speech for you today. In Google Classrooms, you'll find your classwork assignment for your day. The worksheet provided has questions that you can answer after listening to and watching this video. You may also use the Leave No Trace posters that I have provided in your school binders originally distributed. In the binder you will find a crossword puzzle that you are free to do on your own time. Thanks for participating in today's adventure class. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at lware at yellowbreaches.com. And one more thing. Be sure to look at the resource list that I've added to Google Classroom as to how to make your own masks at home. And if you do make a mask, make a video and submit it to our Google Classroom or email it to me. The staff and I would love to see your homemade videos. Take care, ladies.